play Blast Blue or any of his installments. But one thing I will do is pay tribute to this saucy ass D2 Rumi. There's been many times where I do not care if I win or lose, but as long as I land his curse stomp of Doom to your Chrome, that's all that really matters. Enough said, I'm gonna show you what this essence does, but it went through a lot of changes, such as becoming a spine ran to a counter to a better spine ran. And I hope they keep it this way, making a counter and sharing your counters cooldown makes it really annoying. But now you can just start comboing after using negation or any other counter moves you have. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for the recent support to the channel as we're really close to 5k. All I ask is you subscribe if you like the content I'm showing. And if we can reach 50 likes, I could probably do more combos or find any more text or any related uh, moves with other Sheikai's and stuff. But other than that, Later, bro. all right, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I had to put my man's fit on. His fit was too tough for me to put on. But I'm not gonna lie, this essence is actually really good. It's just like I said, it's more of a combo ender more than anything. So you can't really start the combo with it. Only way you could is if they don't block Shori. And Shori is the only long range move I could think of. I try to use Gehenna or dash in, use Gehenna, the ground variant, but it's just not really worth the trouble to do all that. Air variant is so much better, but. Berserk Spears, really good combo. Uh, Captain Dragon here, down stem and after. Use the crazy bit essence. As you can see, I try to show him afterwards, landed it. Then we use Gehanna afterwards. Then I'm gonna tour Reach. Gehanna afterwards, whirlwind step. They need to bring back the air bear whirlwind step. Oh my goodness, that shit does uh, catches so many people off guard. And the fact that whirlwind step is guard breakable and visitor, I keep forgetting to use it during that time. But it's just, I'm happy. They're knowing that SR Hakuna needs it. Like, we don't have anything compared to, you know, the rock cars or Quincy. I mean, granted, Quincy's are, you know, been getting nerfed recently, or not nerfed, but balanced recently. Some may have different opinion. I really don't. It, it's just some shit was just necessary for it. Um, is it still playable? Yes. Is every brace or every tree somewhat playable? Yes. For example, they even touch SR Hakuna. Then they crazy blitz again and they stop it and out. So nah, Crazy Blitz is pretty good. I think everybody should use it. If you're a, if you're a Hakata, the new Hakata Essence kind of ass though. So go with the Crazy Blitz instead. All right, so we're on to the next one, which is Milk. This dude's record is absurd, bruh. Like, dog. I feel like I shouldn't be fighting people who are at that level. Well, not for me. I'm talking about for people who are fighting against me because you can have such really good records, but you can still be in the same ELO bracket with someone who has like 600 L's and 400 W's. Are they really the same level as you? I feel like you lose, you can gain ELO back immediately. Dragon, punch him, try to use short reach, but this is what I mean. Do you have enough time to interact? Use negation, he landed it, but I use negation again. He try to use Spiron, I use Nameless just to seal his abilities. Mr. Tora, he is on a rock card, trying to play this safe. Landed whirlwind step. He missed the crit, faked him out. Try to crit him into using my pulse. Missed that, unfortunately. Demonic Embrace, Gehenna, M1. Then I'm gonna lay my catch a dragon. Dunk him right down the floor. Tour reach. Negation afterwards into a nameless again. Then I use my droplet to avoid that spine ring. Whirlwind step. Then I kind of blinked my mind that time. There, which, but there's not bad for Hakuna. It, it's better choices, like Devil Rest. But name is him, and then I'm going to land the infamous crazy blitz. Use Gehenna. Land the Gehenna. Use his uh, the move for the passive. Slam dunk his ass. Short him afterwards, and these niggas will die so fast. Granted, I know my build is like really, really good, but we did get a hog frag here. We finally reached upper master, but when I try to go bank this, just see what happens. So the thing is, I didn't get to record this fully, but when I was trying to bank this hog frag, I see a Segunda weirdo who was popping on freshies or popping on niggas who bank. I, I don't understand that. Niggas who do that shit, you're, you're fucking weird. I don't care. You're weird. You deserve anything. Any misfortune ever happened. But I spun the block. I'd be damned to lose to this nigga. He uses, tries to be on some weird shit. His build is, I don't know. He's a keto Segunda. I know I can't beat this nigga unless I have my Bankai, but you'll see why what happened when I chose my Bankai. But I try to seal his abilities. I got this uh, the ceiling, the first part of it. Get hand to him, landed it, catching dragon, slam dunk him immediately. Into a Shori, he blocked or parried it, dashed away his moving move. 
That move right there is the hardest thing to go by because he can just use his roar into blocking. And then this new SR Keto move, it's a dash hyper armor move. Jesus Christ. Well, that shit should be a skill box. I don't know if it's a skill box with S's, but Jesus. But yeah, he was just comboing me. There's nothing really I could have done here until I pop my wizard. Look how big his Cerro Blast is. Pause. No, no Diddy. But land this Shori. Land my Crazy Blitz afterwards is the best thing for iFrames to try to avoid moves. I landed the Nameless, so he's honestly, he's just a walking turtle shell. You can see that he's trying to, you know, abuse his move, but look, he couldn't do anything. He forgot that he was sealed. So I tried to take advantage of it until his boyfriend, the flower hawking nigga behind me, was helping him. Now, helping someone with Stark Segunda is ridiculous at the end of itself. Mind you, I still don't have Bankai yet. So I couldn't really play how I want to, because I know the guy from behind is just going to 2v1 me. But he's just landing all these crazy keto moves and landing with Star Segunda. Not Star Segunda, but Storm Segunda, I couldn't do anything. It's just you get keto. Rock our keto is just toxic. I try to run away. Parried it actually. And as you can see, I don't have that much HP. Even though I may be a you know a health regen variant for that uh for Wizard, it's not that good right here. I did, I forgot I had absolute and that was GG. But I spun the block again because I want to get my Bankai bar. So afterwards, you can just see how long this nigga stayed in. I'm surprised he stayed in this mode for so long because he didn't pop this before I went there. He was already killing someone previously. But land up the negation to reach into the crazy blitz. After landing that move, I try to drop it to him. But I, I kind of mistimed it with my eye frame. He's still trying to use his move stacking, really. Not really necessarily move stacking, but somewhat. Getting all these crazy combo and taking almost all my HP. So I'm popping Bankai here. So I knew I had to steal this nigga's abilities as soon as possible. So I tried to paint, use painted black, so I can proc the ant, but he ran away. And you know, and that's kind of GG's there. His boyfriend tried to shore me again right there. You can see there. So he's he knows he's low. He's running away from me. If it was a 1v1 scenario, he wasn't going to beat me. If it was Bankai versus Saguna, he wasn't going to beat me. Because I was still working him without it. You know, with Bankai, it was a for sure win. But then again, I'm fighting against a flower guy behind me. And he keeps canceling my moves. So I was kind of cooked to an extent. Yeah, dude, look. I don't have absolute defense. So I couldn't really dodge anything with this move. And he's using... Yeah, I was using these dodge. And you just see my HP just depleting, just depleting after depletion. Now I completely for now I'm looking at this back at this footage. I forgot to even use my uh visor mask. But yeah, his boyfriend. I don't know where that random blood bankai guy came from. I don't know him. He just came randomly. But yeah, my HP was just depleting and this I, I, I it's not that I can I was already low enough fighting this guy. the painted black or the uh, black hand and then his SR Kido guy came out nowhere just ended me. And then I had to spawn the block with one of the swaggiest niggas I know. Or the highest season ELO nigga, which is Epilogue. So he came back, spun the block on this dumbass nigga. I was like, nah, I had enough. I, I genuinely had enough. Try to combo him, use absolute defense to avoid all of that. And this is middle of a KT race, so like we're really just fighting against a whole bunch of raw cards. And this fight started like 20 minutes ago, I feel like. Sword Kurabi, the eye that I needed. Tor reached him, but he still landed the other move. I couldn't do it. I use absolute defense here to avoid all those attacks. He has the fireflies. He's still trying to land that lightning move. He's trying to focus on me specifically. Grand Ray, we parry that. Using my crazy blitz right here. Trying to cancel his move as much as possible. Push him out there. I don't care what y'all niggas say, bro. Segunda, man. Segunda is boss raid material. Holy shit. His boyfriends, he has more boyfriends trying to help him. I realistically have two, only have two people here with me after fighting him. We're fighting, we're fighting, dog, like, holy shit. 
then I'm just getting team damage like a motherfucker. And then some other guy with ha like Hakuda, Vamp came out of nowhere. He's targeting me. And then his boyfriend with Flower came behind. And I'm just whooping his ass instead. Right in my crazy blitz. And I just get double phased. Nothing I could have done here. Look at my HP, just low as fuck. Another grand way. Sometimes stay back and heal. Yeah, it was easy from the moment it started. So I got knocked. I wanted to see back what was going on. I, it's, bro, uh, if you don't have any healing of some sort to yourself, you're going to die. You're going to lose most boss rating if you don't have any healing mode. So we took care of the threat. After we killed him, this nigga popped Flower Bankai. Yeah, Flower Bankai is almost leagues ahead of ink in terms of boss rateable. You can't beat Flower Bankai. That shit there is something else. You have a better chance of fighting a, a ink Bankai more than a Flower Bankai. The M1s is ridiculous. Now, after I'm trying to help Epilogue fight against that Flower Bankai, knowing he's in a lose lose situation. Look what happened. Somebody decides to pop Segunda on the, in front of me and my, my computer crashed. Dude, this game is so fucking garbage. I'm tired of this.